I'm not trained on how to use oscilloscopes, but I picked one up anyways a year ago to try to make better content video for all of you to show us the sine wave of the inverters that I'm testing. But this particular oscilloscope is not really working for what I want to do. So I picked up a new one today. It's handheld, battery operated, should be a little bit safer for this application. So let's get into this. Hi, I'm David and welcome to my channel where I like to DIY projects that are renewable energy and energy efficiency. This is a brand new oscilloscope to me. I've never even turned it on and don't know how to use it. But I did charge the battery and today we're going to try turning it on so every time I cut the camera it's probably me going and reading the manual online. <laughs> we're going to see if we can get some uh, sine waves up here on the screen and see if it works. I have been running my house off grid for the last six months, but it's the end of October and we've had four days of rain and today turned to snow. So the panels are covered. We've been on the grid since yesterday because the batteries are depleted. But that's actually a good thing for us because that means that the grid being a good clean sine wave will be able to check and compare that clean sine wave to whatever the inverters are outputting. I don't think this was a bad oscilloscope. I bought it used off Craigslist. There the, there's the specs. Uh, but I, I'm not trained on oscilloscopes and this thing has so many features that I was probably never able to figure out how to dial it all in well. And plenty of you guys commented that I was hooking things up in a dangerous manner. So I had several suggestions to go to a battery powered unit because now the ground won't be through this. So this is the new model that we have and it just showed up. We can take this off. Ooh. <laughs> now inside the package came a scope, some colored rings, there's the charging stuff and it comes with a set of leads if you're going to use it as a, a multimeter. So we're going to leave that in the 10 times because we're going to be checking uh, the regular power that comes out of the grid. Now to plug in my bad idea. So there's my bad idea probes. If I pull down on this probe thing, a little hook shows. So now if we press auto, so when I press auto, it looks like it's going off the screen. All right, now we have a sine wave, okay. So it turns out this little switch on the probe, it, when I went to pull it, I must have inadvertently switched that to one times. Uh, so that was a mistake on my part and that's why it was off the screen. Uh, so I just switched it down to 10 times where it's supposed to be. So there's the sine wave. So I have no idea how to make any further adjustments beyond that. Now if anybody has information on this oscilloscope, uh, for example, something I'd like to be able to do is save this image and then be able to put the image up on the screen so that it's a higher resolution for all of you. Okay, we moved over to the workbench and we're gonna try this really inexpensive modified sine wave inverter. Now this is from Harbor Freight. So we'll go turn this on. Now we should be able to start seeing the modified sine wave. It looks like it did automatically. Oh, come back here. So that is a modified sine wave from Harbor Freight Inverter. So that's what you're gonna get with a really cheap inverter. Next, we're gonna test this really cheap, tiny 300 watt inverter. I've had it probably 10 years, never tested it before. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks pretty good. So they were telling the truth when they said pure sine wave on it, right there. All right, cool. Well, let's see what else we can test. Let's test the Max Oak Blue Eddy 240. Now this is a big, heavy unit, so I can plug it in before turning it on, make it a little bit safer. Okay, AC is on, and this looks pretty good too. 
What I'm really excited to test is these SMA inverters. Let's see how clean their sine wave is. Now since we are on the grid right now, these are not powering anything except this one outlet I have dedicated to this circuit breaker panel, which is just for these SMAs. So I plugged in the scope and let's go check it. There we go. Looks like a pure sine wave. That is great. So I'll also need to figure out how to zoom in on this. Uh, the other oscilloscope had knobs to turn. This one is going to be a little bit different. So I don't know how to zoom in on that, but at least we get the broad picture. This inverter is one of my oldest inverters, and I've got it hooked up to my 48 volt ammo battery, which I have built in a previous video, and you can check that out if you want to. So let's see how this is doing. We'll turn this oscilloscope on. Okay. And it looks okay, but it is, seems like it's shaking a little bit more than some of the other ones were. I'd love to figure out how I can zoom in on this, on the edges. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, there we go, everybody. A brief introduction to the new oscilloscope that you'll probably be seeing in some future videos. Whenever I test something like a portable power station or an inverter, I'll try to remember to bring this out so that we can see the sine wave together. Now, of course, I'm just beginning my journey on how to use oscilloscopes. So if anybody has any pointers, please leave them in the comments below so that I can make the best possible videos for all of you. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share.